going to start a new topic in English Quarter 1, Module 5, expressing emotional responses using a range of verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. So our topic for today is Lesson 2, using adjectives to express emotional responses. So first, let's define what is adjectives. Adjectives are a word or phrase naming an attribute, added to or grammatically related to a noun to modify or describe it. Below are the examples of the adjectives that are used to show positive and negative emotion. A person's feeling can sometimes be observed or experience visibility. For example, the way a person smell can reveal something about how they are feeling, such as they're sad, mad, happy, or ecstatic. Feelings tend to house emotions, often amplify a particular situation. So here are the examples of adjectives used in sentence to convey emotion. Number one, as your friend, I will be delighted if you share your problems to me. In this sentence, the word delighted describes the positive feeling of the person about being able to listen to his or her friend's problem. Example number two, some teenagers are regretful that they were not able to spend time with their friends before the enhanced community quarantine or ECQ. The word regretful emphasizes the teenager's negative emotion on not being able to be with their friends before the ECQ. And also, notice how these adjectives are used in a paragraph. As Filipinos, we love to be with our family during dinner time to share our best or worst experience of the day. However, this practice has been gradually disappearing because of technology. Young people would rather use social media to express themselves for they are embarrassed to share their feelings for their parents. On the other hand, parents are somehow guilty of contributing to the distance felt by the children for some of them are too busy with work such as taking office calls during real time, checking emails, or surfing the internet. Because of these, there is lesser time for families to spend together. This must change. We must not let technology affect the time we spend with them. Doing this will create better and stronger relationships. So, you can notice in the first sentence, the adjectives best and first are used to describe the positive and negative circumstances that a person can experience in a day. In the third sentence, the word embarrassed is used to describe the feeling of young people toward sharing their thoughts to their parents. Then, in the fourth sentence, the word guilty is used to describe the feeling of parents in being too busy at work even when at home. In the last sentence, the word better and stronger are used to motivate the readers to create a bond with their parents rather than spending time with technology. To know if you really understand our lesson for today, let's have an activity. So, our activity is choose the correct answer inside the box. I will give you 5 minutes to answer your activity. After 5 minutes, you can check your USB OTG to know the correct answer. So, that's it for today. See you again next time.